no matter how luxurious the surroundings are nothing can replace the feeling being cared for in today's world customers have endless options when our clients know that we care for them and their success and they when, when they can feel it they stand by us prem anand rao is the founder of london butler academy is also a client experience expert over the last 30 years prem has been serving five star hotels cruise butler high net worth families as a house manager estate manager and head butler he had the privilege to be in a position to transform properties and to be part of the lives that some outstanding families in the united kingdom this had led him to the opportunities to serve the royals and the country head it has allowed him to travel globally and appreciate the lifestyle of extraordinary person now today in this session in this css talk he is going to serve share with you two of the key lesson when it comes to customer experience so let's welcome prem with a thunderous round of applause prem over to you imagine this you've been dreaming of this luxurious vacation for months maybe even years every detail is planned to perfection and finally the day arrives you are boarding this beautiful shiny yacht expecting an experience straight out of your dream but then something feels off the hospitality is cold you find yourself in a setting of grandeur but having to chase the staff for the basics there's no warmth no welcome it feels like the staff is merely going through the motions how does that make you feel disappointed exactly because no matter how luxurious the surroundings are nothing can replace the feeling being cared for now let me take you to another experience you are out and about with your friends and stumble upon a regular restaurant a restaurant like the one which i used to run the mango tree in taunton and this is your first visit to the place you have no expectations it's just another place to eat from the moment you walk in everything changes the staff greets you they make you feel as if they are respecting you you look around you see all smiley faces they take your coats off guide you to the best of the tables and the questions are so thoughtful and it, it is really you can feel the genuine and sincerity in their attention suddenly this ordinary restaurant becomes extraordinary it's a place you will return to and the place you will talk about to your friends now let me ask you which experience would you choose the cold luxury yacht or the humble honest hospitality in the ordinary restaurant My name is Prem Anand. I'm a client experience expert. I help businesses, serving businesses particularly, to engage, impact and retain clients, resulting in their businesses becoming reputed brands and creating a legacy. In order to do that, every business must focus on making their connections meaningful. And here I'm going to share two principles which can make that happen the first principle with a story once upon a time a temporary butler was hired to be employed 
in a weekend country house in England. The family comes together here on Friday evening and they leave on Sunday morning. It is just to keep them away from, from their hectic life. They gather here. So the brief for the butler is to look after them while they are in house. But our man sees this as an opportunity to improve things. He pays attention with the garden, with the household, with all the facilities and the house is now gleaming compared to six months ago. This is reflected on the people's feeling when they ask him, what did you do? We feel so much to come back here again and again. And when we are leaving, we are already thinking, when should I be back? This consequently resulted in the butler getting rewarded with 100% pay rise, a cottage to live, and a security in the job. But what has really happened here? The relationship between the butler and the family deepened and now from being an employee, he became a trusted lifestyle partner. And this shift had brought him those rewards. Apart from that, the transforming experience of the family had left a lasting impression that when he wanted to leave, the family asked him, what can I make you stick? What can make you stay here? This is because he focused on the reason why his employers have this country house. So what he made to happen was to put things in place for them to have a better pleasure that, apart from the service what he's been providing. So when we start thinking like this, they just don't pay us for what we are. The, we think that they invest in us and that changes the narrative. So ladies and gentlemen, if you consider every relationship, every transaction as a relationship rather than being a mere transaction that would put you in a place where you can have people to come and stay with you for long. Another example I could narrate for the second principle is a young butler on the cruise ship who welcomes a couple, a regularly visiting couple called Nancy and Dave. Nancy and Dave check in and the butler comes to know it is Nancy's birthday soon and on the birthday, the usual ritual is being performed, the chocolate, champagne, and the cakes. But the butler thinks, well, how can I make this special for Nancy? And then he remembers a conversation he has had in the beginning of the cruise with her husband. Then he sets in motion, he goes to the captain, he speaks to the captain, and then when he come, goes on the break and when he comes back in the evening, he discovers Nancy runs to the door to hug him and to say, this is the best gift she could have ever had for her birthday. The butler had put in a word to the captain and the captain has been there that afternoon and David tells them how grateful they are for this particular experience that they have had. The butler had a knowledge of what it is required. He put things together and while he is there, he could make this happen because he was just an instrument for these things to happen. So when you have a genuine interest, when you have the genuine feeling, you will get what it makes for other people to make their biggest gift or happiest moments. So you become an instrument, a facilitator, a port, if I may say so. And for that to happen, we genuinely have to have a true interest in the people's happiness. 
Ladies and gentlemen, any guess who the butlers were on the both the occasions? Yes, it was me. For me, the power of listening and acting on those moments sincerely, becoming a channel, has transformed many people's lives and the transformation of many people's lives have given me the life what I'm living. So, the two principles, if we can get this going, anybody can have customers who will be with them for their lifetime. In today's world, customers have endless options. When our clients know that we care for them and their success and they, when, when they can feel it, they stand by us. As I stand here today, I ask you, are you ready to look at the transactions with your clients as an opportunity to build relationships. And we have seen having a genuine, sincere feeling to make things better enables us to be a channel for their happiness and thereby leading to our successes. Are you available to be that channel? The answer is within us. The secret lies in being aware of their needs, their joys, their dreams, and we believe that we can deliver. When we do, we have created lifelong connections. And the connections created in this way becomes meaningful. And I wish you all that you may have many meaningful connections in your lifetimes and have a good life.